is it still worth learning Flutter in 2026? With new frameworks, tools, and AI-powered platforms appearing every year, many developers are asking whether Flutter is still a relevant skill or if it's being replaced by newer solutions. Let's take a realistic look at where Flutter stands today. First, let's clarify what Flutter is. Flutter is a UI framework developed by Google that allows developers to build applications for mobile, web, desktop, and embedded devices using a single code base. It uses the Dart programming language and is designed to deliver high performance and visually consistent user interfaces across platforms. One of Flutter's key advantages is its architecture. Flutter renders its own UI using a high-performance engine rather than relying on native components. This gives developers precise control over layout, animations, and behavior, resulting in consistent experiences on different platforms. Flutter saw rapid adoption in the early 2020s. Organizations embraced it to reduce development time and cost while maintaining near-native performance. Features like Hot Reload, a rich widget system, and strong documentation helped Flutter gain popularity among both new and experienced developers. Now let's look at Flutter in 2026. Flutter has matured into a stable, production-ready framework. Google continues to actively maintain and improve it, focusing on performance, tooling, and expanded platform support. Flutter has also adapted to modern hardware trends. Support for foldable devices, large screens, desktop environments, and embedded systems has significantly improved. This makes Flutter suitable for long-term projects rather than short-term experiments. A common concern in 2026 is the rise of AI in software development. AI tools can now generate code, design interfaces, and automate repetitive tasks. However, AI has not replaced developers, and it is unlikely to do so in the near future. AI cannot fully understand business context, user needs, and complex system architecture. Developers are still required to design scalable systems, make technical trade-offs, review AI-generated code, and ensure performance, security, and maintainability. Rather than replacing developers, AI has become a productivity tool. In Flutter development, AI assists with boilerplate code, debugging suggestions, and UI experimentation, allowing developers to focus on architecture, user experience, and problem solving. Yes, especially for developers who want to remain relevant in a market that values efficiency and cross-platform expertise. Cross-platform development continues to grow in importance. Companies want faster releases and broader reach without maintaining multiple teams. Flutter's single codebase approach directly addresses these needs. From a career standpoint, Flutter remains a valuable skill. Flutter developers are still in demand, particularly those who understand app architecture, performance optimization, and real-world deployment. Salaries remain competitive, and Flutter experience translates well into other modern frameworks. What about alternatives? Frameworks like React Native, SwiftUI, and Jetpack compose each serve specific use cases. However, Flutter stands out for its consistency across platforms, strong performance, and well-established ecosystem. Flutter is suitable for both beginners and experienced developers. New developers benefit from its clear structure and extensive documentation, while experienced engineers appreciate the level of control it offers over UI and performance. To summarize, Flutter is still a strong technology choice in 2026. It is stable, actively supported, and aligned with modern development needs. AI has changed how developers work, but it has not replaced them, and Flutter remains a practical and future-ready framework. If you're considering learning Flutter in 2026, you're not too late. You're investing in a skill that combines cross-platform development, modern UI design, and long-term relevance. Thank you for watching. I will see you again in the next video.